Hey everyone, Professor Gull here, and we're going to do a drive swap for an Xbox. Uh, here's a dead drive. It came out of uh, the Xbox I'm repairing. Got part number on it, but doesn't work. Hasn't been able to read anything for a while. So let's go through the process of swapping some drives. Uh, I have a block of interesting bits that you need to take your Xbox apart. Uh, first one is a CRVT20. I'll add a subtitle here just so that you understand what bit that you need. But CRVT20. It's like a star bit. And you'll need that to take the cover off the Xbox itself. And a screwdriver to fit the bit. So let me show you where the screws are at. One, two, three, four under the foot pads. One under this sticker. And there's one under this sticker. You can kind of feel it if you push on it. It'll feel soft. And those are the spots for the screws. So let's get these pads off here. Now the reason I'm doing this is, like I said, his drive stopped working. So you either buy a new drive or you get a donor Xbox. And he happened to have a donor Xbox around, so... I said, bring it on over. I got the tools. We'll make this happen. I'll save defeat for later. Since his modded Xbox didn't have feet, he can put these back on them. I'm just using a flathead screwdriver to pry these off of there. So there's like a plastic film cover, but there's the bolt right there. Yeah, so you just take your CRVT20 bit on your screwdriver. You take the bolts out. Now you'll be surprised. Yeah, the long bolts. That's it. So you have a total of six in the bottom of the Xbox to take out. And they do come in two different colors. Silver and black that I've seen. Um, I haven't seen any other colors besides those two, but if you have, let me know. I'm kind of curious. See, there's one down here. There's one here. Now, you could try to peel the stickers back, but eh, I don't really care anymore, and he doesn't care. So I'm just going to just poke through the sticker and take them out. Now, they put those bolts behind those for security to see if you tampered with the Xbox or whatnot. But really, at this point, does anybody care? bolts are out. So now the cover will pop off. Get a little bit of a jiggle. And there you go. That's all it is. If you can't get the cover off, it means you missed a bolt. But here's the innards of the Xbox. Now we're going to get that drive. That's what I want. It's a ribbon cable. Take that out. But to do that, you want to take it off this little tab here. Plug it there. And there's also a power cable. Let's see if I can get this closer here. Right there. Well, unplug that. Done. Now I'm going to keep it in the cradle. So to do that, I got to take these other screws out. That takes a CRVT10. Um, let's see if I can find my. 
there's a hard drive here. So they're attached together by this bolt in the middle. So you can't pull one out without the other. So you gotta take that bolt out. Like I said, use a CRVT10 bit. Oh, that was the wrong one. Okay. This is the fun trial and error. There it is. CRVT10. It's, also, it's a little star bit. Um, like I said, hopefully you can find one of these. And I got my bit set. I can't remember where. Hardware store. I'm sure it does come in handy. So we'll take these little bolts out. They're just tiny little screws. There's one there. There's two more holding the drive in. One there, and one on the other side. Hold on, gotta take this <laughs> off my screwdriver here. There's that one. I'm gonna try to pull the screw out of this. I doubt I'll be able to get that out of there. If not, I'm going to take the whole carriage out anyway. Yeah, that's not happening. All right, so, the hard drive. Uh, i got to get that screw out before I can pull the hard drive. So let's get this one out. So a total of three of those little screws in there. Sorry if I'm all over the place, guys, but it's been a while since I actually fixed an Xbox or did anything with an Xbox. Damn, these screws are a pain in the butt to get to. So now we can pull these cradles out. If you pull the whole hard drive cradle out, Trying to be a little forceful, be gentle. It should just slide out. There's nothing else keeping that in there. I'm gonna plug the ribbon cable. And then there's a power cable to it too that runs down the side. But I just wanna make it, move it out of the way so you can pull the DVD drive. So, there it is, all you gotta do is lift it up. And watch your hands, there are some sharp metal objects in there. So just be careful. Hear the plastic creaking. There we go. There's the drive. Hello, Xbox Drive. Yep. So we'll keep that. Oh, the heatsink fell off. Put that back on. I don't know if that's a heatsink or a secure clip. Oh, anybody got any insight on that part? I'd be curious to know. Now these drives aren't the same drive. That being that they both came out of an Xbox, they should work. I know there are some compatibility issues. But I'm going to take the dead drive, put it in this Xbox, just in case he wants to use it for parts. Although, I don't know what other parts he'd want the other Xbox for. God, the enclosure's a pain in the butt. There we go. Yeah, so I'm done with that one. Get rid of the donor. So this is the one I'm fixing. So we'll take the DVD drive. That goes in. You kind of feel it pop into place, but you can give it a little push on it. Make sure it's secure. And I would recommend screwing these in first before you put the hard drive in. It makes it a lot easier. Like I said, that's with a CRVT 10 bit. All right, now we're gonna put the hard drive back. So there's that power cable I was talking about. So it runs up the side of the cradle. So 
I'll put it back here. I'll put the power cable back where it belongs. And there you go. Slide it into there. there. Pop it in there. Oh, well, fun time with cables. Try to fit this enclosure in there correctly. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you kind of hear it pop into place. So then make sure you really got it in there. Just give it a good push on each of the corners to make sure. You don't have to rearrange it. There we go. And you'll feel it kind of smooth across the top. And that's good to go. The one I'm sticking up, not good to go. So I'm gonna put this screw back in this one saying that this modded unit, they took the screws out and never put them back. And I personally prefer to have a secure drive, but teach their own. Okay, now I gotta do is hook the ribbon cable back up. And give it a good push. I probably wouldn't have been smart if I had done that before I put the drive in. But yeah. It's not that difficult to do. There you go. And then do the same thing with the power cable. Make sure you hook that up or else, well, it won't work. Ta-da! So let's put the case back together. So, just kind of a, make sure it's secure. I mean, it, it attaches pretty easy. I'm gonna put the black bolts back in. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Once again, change out bits. Go back to the CRVT20 bit, star bit. And tighten these down. And this one. I know this is the exciting part, right? Putting screws back in stuff. I'll have him put the pads on himself, but there you go. All done. Drive swapped. So I was working on that Xbox, and when I was, I was swapping the drives, and I did the drive swap. Uh, my friend's box here runs you know, Evolution X here, and he uh, couldn't launch the DVDs anymore because the drive stopped working. So uh, let's see if all of our fruition came to uh, a good conclusion. I'm gonna throw in a regular Xbox game first before I get to this arcade disc over here, all right? So let's put this one in, because it couldn't even read regular games. So let's see what, it, see what this does. Blinking, launch, oh. And what does that say? Evolution X, right? So friends, I believe we did. Save the Xbox. The HQ. Huh? That's definitely reading the disc. Nah. So destroy all humans. Functions perfect. Read the drive. All right. We're done testing that one. The best part is that when I put this new drive in, I got the drive to slide in and out real easy. You know, some of them stick. These are smooth, beautiful. A lot of that just has to do with that heat sink plate that was on there. 
Uh, sometimes it gets stuck. That's why you see a lot of people who take these apart, take those off of there. Let's try an arcade disc. That should be interesting. Still getting Evolution X. Now, I will admit, this, this drive sounds a lot quieter than the other one did, so. There you go. Name X. Insert coin. Beautiful. So there you go, guys. You can repair an Xbox by getting a donor one. Uh, I know you can still buy drives online and stuff, but this was my solution. And, uh, since he had an extra one sitting around, uh, my friend of mine will be very much happy to uh, have his Xbox back and work in order. So thanks, everyone. We'll catch you next time.